has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Real 92.3, LA's home for hip-hop, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. I have the pleasure to introduce or just say hello to our friend, Wendy Carrillo, is hello, in Wendy. the neighborhood. Ooh, How are you, Wendy? I'm feeling good. I'm pumped up. I am I am not mad at you. Now, for those out there, man, Wendy, uh, we call her our neighborhood uh, political correspondent. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, we did so much with her that... We uh, dropped the ball during the uh, <laughs> during the election. You know what I'm saying? We should have had you way closer to us <laughs> when all this election stuff was going down. It's but all right, though, because I was at Standing Rock, so uh, it's all yeah, good. So how long were you at Standing Rock? Close to two months. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. On yeah. the front line. Front line. When it was freezing and yep. snow? Damn. It was like negative 14 when I left. <sighs> and I left to run for Congress. I heard that. Now, when you say you left to run for Congress, mm -hmm. congratulations to so you running for Congress. Thank you. And what district are we running for? District 34. District 34. Nice. And that includes? Oh, let's go from the top. So Eagle Rock, Highland Park, La Salle, Mount Washington, City Terrace, El Sereno, Boyle Heights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Downtown, Chinatown, Pico Union, Westlake, Koreatown, Historic Filipino Town, and so many other neighborhoods. Good Lord, wow. have mercy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah that's a, Why the pressure? Yeah. Why do you want that? <laughs> why do you want that For pressure? Real. It is, you know what, I'm running as a response is there's so much urgency to like the election. Mm -hmm. uh, when we woke up November 9th feeling oh my God. Uh, a certain kind of way about, Dempsey. you know, the next president of the United States, our communities are, you know, scared. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I've heard you talking to listeners about how scared they are and how they yeah. feel like, you know, students that are on DACA, mm -hmm. they're now on a registry mm -hmm. where they could potentially be targeted. And that needs to, right. they need to be protected. Women's rights, civil rights, like there's so many issues at stake, LGBT rights, just so much. And so this is a district where I live and grew up in and feel that I can represent. Really? So do you know how when people think like, oh, okay, the next person, I'll let the next person do it. Mm -hmm. Why you didn't let the next person, why did Wendy Carrillo say, you know, I I'm, I'm going to, because when you announced or when I just saw it on your Instagram, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that makes sense. If there's anyone that should run for Congress, it makes sense. Why, why did you say, you know what, I got to do it? The urgency of now. And if not me, if not me, who? If not now, when? Mm -hmm. And, you know, L.A. has a has a serious problem in that we talk about new leadership and new emerging voices, but yet don't offer opportunities. I'm not waiting for anybody to tap me on the shoulder and tell me that I need to run. And there's nobody that can tell me the issues of my that my community is facing them because I've lived them myself. Mm -hmm. So when you come from these neighborhoods and you understand like what it is to struggle and to fight and to persevere, that is literally my story. And it's what I want to represent in Congress. And no other politician can tell me what I've lived through. Right. Or, or what I know because I've lived it. Now, what is the campaign for Wendy Carrillo? What is your campaign about? It's about the promise of America. Mm -hmm. It is about fighting for what we believe in. It is about preserving what makes this this nation incredible. Uh, it is about uh, resiliency and severe resistance mm -hmm. to anybody that says that we don't belong here, that we don't deserve something, and that we are uh, not worthy because mm -hmm. we are. And so we need to fight for that. And you know what I love about you as well, Wendy Carrillo, is that you're not a politician. You know what I'm saying? Because there, there's this this yeah. this stigma that comes with the word politician. Mm -hmm. It feels like, uh, like I really feel that that you're for for, for the people. Mm -hmm. Like you're cut from a cloth of understanding. And mm -hmm. and I love when you can get someone that's as real as you to step into a position. And it's not a position to help yourself because every time I speak with you and or anytime I see what's going on with your campaign, it's really about others. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you and Wendy Carrillo, you lived a lot of what you're fighting for. Yeah, absolutely. And we got to be a voice for those that possibly can't fight or are afraid to fight or don't know how to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we have a mighty tool and it's our responsibility as well mm -hmm. to make sure that we speak to the masses. Yes. And people sometimes say, you know, you got to be a voice for the voiceless. And I say, yes. no, we, everyone has a voice. We oh, have yeah. to amplify everyone's voices. It's like, I'm not there to speak on anybody's behalf. Mm -hmm. We're speaking together. We're going to Congress together. Um, and that is the big difference when we talk about what people power is about in that it's about ensuring that everyone that's in this table right now and everyone that's mm -hmm. listening, that we're taking the voices of our community to Congress. Mm. And where, do, where does this passion come from? Oh, 
it's like a passion that you're born with, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there's there are many things that make up like who we are as, as people. Right. So when you have the new president elect talking about immigrants mm -hmm. and talking about undocumented communities, like I was undocumented as a child. Mm -hmm. I, am a, I am an immigrant. I am a woman of color. I come from the inner city like I put myself through college. My parents are working working folks that like struggled every day mm -hmm. to put food on the table like i'm a homeowner in the neighborhood that i grew up in mm -hmm. nice. you know like these are all things that everyone should have access mm -hmm. to um and that now are at stake you know so i refuse to just sit idly by and wait for somebody to come rescue me i don't need somebody to come rescue me i'm gonna stand up for what i believe in i'm gonna fight now, how does one get in touch with Wendy Carrillo? Vote. WendyCarrillo.com is the website. Ah, you cleverly hit it there. Yes. <laughs> Vote. WendyCarrillo.com. Yes. And Facebook, it's Wendy Carrillo for Congress on Twitter, at Wendy Carrillo. Uh, yeah, just hit me up. Get involved. Get engaged. Like, learn about what we're about and get involved in the district. And now, the there's also uh, your, your campaign rally that's going down. Yes. Now, it's a campaign rally and a meetup. We didn't say meet up years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, like now meet, meet up is up. like that thing. Yeah, yeah, let's meet up. Let's meet up. Mm -hmm. So that is going down this Sunday, January 15th. And yes. that's from 1 to 3 p.m. And where you, where we at, Wendy? It's at Self Help Graphics in Boyle Heights. Uh, I'll give you the address right Go there. Go ahead now. Hello. And that's 1300 East 1st Street. 1300 East 1st Street. Self Help Graphics in Boyle Heights. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Once again, that's 1300 East 1st Street. Show you right now. What did you feel about Obama's farewell speech? I thought, um, I wish that it would have been the Obama that, would have, that I would have seen in the last eight years. Mm -hmm. He was passionate. He articulated so many points on civil rights and women's rights and, you know, how Jim Crow didn't end in the 60s. I was like, whoa, well, I can't now. believe like he actually said that, that racism mm -hmm. didn't end mm -hmm. because so many people have said, oh, we live in a post-racial right. oh, America. It's different. No, it's Please, different come on. Like that's so, like couldn't be further from the truth. Um, his tribute to his wife and his daughter's uh, was just incredibly touching. And we remember that this is a man that <laughs> you were not going to hear anything like Obama anytime soon. Not soon. Mm. You know, not and soon. the difference between him and the next incoming president could not be like bigger. Man, did you think, yeah. Wendy, did you think that Trump was going to make it in? I had a feeling that he was. Wow. wow. Yeah. You know, like. In the work that I've done and just listening to people and being outside of that little bubble that sometimes politicians and Democrats are in, mm -hmm. like, you know, and I got an opportunity to travel the country during the election. Right, right. Um, and all I saw on my way from Los Angeles to New Orleans and from New Orleans to Standing Rock in North Dakota were Trump signs. Mm. I was like, anybody that thinks anything different is incredibly disconnected with how people feel across the country. Wow. And yeah. see, that, that's what happens here a lot. Mm -hmm. We get we get this kind of this tunnel vision mm -hmm. and it's true. We, we get in this bubble. And when we started to see, I remember looking at our group text and seeing how the ladies in the neighborhood. Mm. I'm nervous. I don't know. You know, and mm. I'm still like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then I'm just looking at it, just flip and just flip. And I'm like, OK, Crazy. well. This but not o it. And not only that, but we saw the primary. I was a strong yeah. supporter of Bernie Sanders uh -huh. early on. And I saw how the Democratic Party like treated the primary itself and mm -hmm. how the DNC reacted towards this groundswell that wasn't backing Hillary Clinton. Right. And so then you have this whole group of people that feel disconnected and disenfranchised and like they're not represented. And so, yeah. Man. Yeah. All righty. Well, this Sunday, it's, it's official. Yep. Campaign rally and meet up for Wendy Carrillo. Congratulations to you. We wish you nothing but the best. Is there any other issues that, that we need to speak upon? There's so many things. Oh, my God. It's, I got a question. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Tell me. I want to ask up? you, what um, what, what's California and Jerry Brown preparing for as far as uh, as far as far once Donald Trump takes presidency? So that's a great question because it's actually the reason why I'm running. So mm -hmm. the district, Congressman Javier Becerra, who represents the district mm -hmm. for the past 24 years, is stepping down to become our state's next attorney general. Uh, to actually start looking at what we're, what California is going to do to mm -hmm. combat like any kind of uh, issues that are going to come towards mm -hmm. the state. And the state has also additionally hired um, former attorney general of the country, Eric Holder, mm -hmm. who was responsible in ensuring that all the police violence that, you know, we um, have seen uh, across the country, that we are holding police uh, departments accountable. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of issues on civil rights, social justice, that need to be at the forefront of how California is going to respond in an effort to protect the people of the state.
Would you consider, like, would you label yourself a liberal, a Democrat? You know, like, I'm guessing it is Democrat, though, but do you want to, like, because we've seen so much of this division of Republican versus Democrat, and there's such a stigma with both of them. Do you label yourself a Democrat? I do, but I label myself as a progressive Democrat. Okay. Mm. And before anything else, before any party lines, even if I were to say that, I would consider myself an American. And I think that there are there's too much division between mm -hmm. Republicans and Democrats to the point that we haven't been able to do much of anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Because of the severe divisive towards and really like hate towards the first black president of the United mm -hmm. States in which everything has been completely blocked to the point that he's had to do executive orders in order for anything to pass. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy how people executive don't orders. get on board. Mm -hmm. You know, the skies, but no, it's green. You know, yeah. like, like, and, and, and I'm, and sometimes Democrats and other parties, they, they kind of put baby gloves on, you know, like the Republicans, they powered up. They was like, no, nah, that's not going to happen. Even if it felt right. Yeah. Things weren't getting mm -hmm. through. No, you know it was saying? just like this very anti-Obama to the point and the de and to the detriment of oh. millions of Americans. Yes, yeah. yes, man. And now they want to repeal the Affordable Care Act that's yeah. helped so many millions of people like yeah. get access to health care. Right. They haven't. They don't have anything to replace it. They just want to get rid of it. And, and, There's well, no plan. That's the uh, thing. According with to Donald Trump, you know, uh, paraphrasing, <laughs> they're going to let it kind of self-destruct this year. Yeah. <laughs> um, they what? do have something that's. Bigger and better. It's believe huge. him. Believe, <laughs> believe him. It's huge. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's huge. I, man. All righty. Wendy Cudillo, yeah, thank you for coming into the thank neighborhood. You, Once again, Wendy Cudillo for Congress. It is going down. Her first campaign rally is happening oh, this head. Sunday. That's the campaign rally and meetup this Sunday, January 15th, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's at Self Help Graphics in Boyle Heights. 1300-1300 East 1st Street. And once again, you can get at Wendy Carrillo through her Facebook, correct? Yes. And also vote, uh, votewendycarrillo.com. Wendy, it is a pleasure to see you. And it's Thank crazy you. because I could, I'm possibly sitting here speaking to <laughs> our first uh, lady president of the United yes. States. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. Not, yeah. not quite. You, not quite. Yes. But yes. You, so there's, there's, I'm because I wasn't born, born here. here. Ah. I can't, but I could be vice president. There so it is right see. there. Hello. Hey, <laughs> well, hell, you don't. Well, want maybe me, we'll change some laws. You don't want to. You don't want to run with me though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, some of the people that we've been putting in, you, we, we might as well be in. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You and, you and I, imagine that the White House would do, like, incredible damage, but what Representative John Lewis calls good trouble. Oh, wow, good trouble. Mm. Hello. Well, I don't know if you want to run with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'll put something towards the campaign, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't want to run my social and some background stuff. All right, well, anyway, Wendy Cudillo, thank you for coming into the neighborhood, man. Real 92.3 LA's home for hip-hop, big boy big neighborhood. Boy.